400 more Ford workers are sent home, laid off as part of the cascading effects of the strike. This is General Motors gets a big line of credit and a third of suppliers have been forced to lay off workers. That story tops the news at 10 o'clock. Good to have you with us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Three weeks into the strike and talks have heated up in these last 24 hours. We haven't reported that very often. Ford presented the UAW with a new offer yesterday, but has told workers in both Livonia and Sterling Heights that they'll be on layoffs starting tomorrow because of effects from the strike. Mar McDonald live in Wayne tonight. And Mara, we expect the UAW chief to address the membership Friday. Kimberly, that's what we're expecting. We're going to see if we have more plant closures announced on Friday. Meanwhile, tonight, in talking to those who are walking the line here at Ford's Michigan Assembly Plant, they say they are encouraged by that new Ford offer, but they think they're going to be here a while. Another evening on the line as week three of this strike draws to a close. We've Are never been in this situation before, so we don't really know what tomorrow's going to bring. Sue Murphy has worked for Ford for 27 years, and yes, she and everybody else out here would really like to go back to work, but... We're fighting for the next generation either way, so, we're, you know, it's not about do we have a choice. We don't have a choice, you know. We're out here for the long haul, whether we like it or not. And while there certainly seem to be hopeful signs with that new Ford offer, General Motors just secured a $6 billion line of credit. GM CFO on CNBC today explaining the rationale. That I think is just prudent uh, in light of, you know, some of the messages that we've seen from some of the UAW leadership that they intend to drag this on for months. And, you know, we've got to continue to fund the transformation uh, and really position GM for the future for all of our people. Ford announcing tonight it's put 400 additional workers at both Livonia Transmission and Sterling Heights Axel on layoff, bringing the total to more than 1,300 who have been laid off because of the strike. Back here live, something else to take a look at tonight. The third quarter sales earnings are in for, for all three Detroit automakers, and GM is up double digits. Ford's up a little over 7%. Stellantis is down about 1% all over last year. So analysts are saying all of this has not caught up in those sales figures yet. We're live in Wayne. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah. All right, Mara.